Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a positive and productive day. My name is Kel with the Planner Isle and today I'm reviewing the Paloma Tote from Freya New York and sharing all of the essentials that I carry in here when I head to the office. I do work from home but I go into the office maybe once a month or so to meet with my team or if there's a special event or something. I have used this as a travel bag on a couple of overnight trips but I primarily use this as my main work bag. As always, I will link the products and accessories I use down below, and don't forget to let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. Without further ado, let's hop in. So this is the Freya New York Paloma Toad in their original size. They also released a smaller version of the Paloma last year that has the same look and overall profile, but it's much more compact. It also comes in five colors. The one I purchased here is in the color taupe, but it's also available in black, pecan, cappuccino, and latte as well. I've had this tote for about four months now, and overall, I really do like this as my work bag. I was looking for a larger bag that could hold my planner, my work laptop, and my water bottle, and I also wanted one that I could put all of my purse items in, so for me, this serves as my sort of one bag carry-all. So firstly, this bag is really gorgeous. It's got really clean, sharp lines that gives it a very modern, very chic and classy look to it. This is also a vegan ultra fiber leather, so it is cruelty free if that's something that's important to you. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but this really mimics real leather. It's super soft and has that pebble leather look and feel to it. This is a really large bag, you guys. I'm gonna put the specs on the screen here. It's designed to fit 15 inch laptops and some 16 inch laptops. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with my 16 inch MacBook Pro and then my 13 inch work computer so you can see the difference. So there's three main compartments. We have two magnetic ones on the side and then one zip compartment in the middle. In the first side compartment, there's two interior pockets and then the other one is open. And then in the zip compartment, you have a smaller compartment with the slip pocket in the front. This is a really great place to store items in your wallet, your keys, meds, or really anything else that you wanna keep more secure. And then there's two additional pockets on the other side. One thing that I like about this bag is the zipper track. You can see it's shortened by about a quarter or so, which is the perfect spot to slide your water bottle. I love this bag for a lot of reasons, but this was the selling point for me. If you watch my wellness videos, you know that I don't get thirsty. I have to literally set reminders on my phone to drink water. I really try and have it on me wherever I go, so I'm really excited that they included that feature here. So the interior is this soft tan micro suede. It adds a really subtle contrast with the taupe, and then it has this really pretty light gold hardware. One thing to note is this bag does not have feet on the bottom. Honestly, I don't think it needs it. The way it's designed is really structured in a way that it never loses its balance. That's one thing that really bothered me about my previous work bags. No matter how I organized it, it would always end up flopping to one side, which was probably my fault, but I haven't had that problem here. And then lastly, the handles are really sturdy. It has this extra stitching at the base, which is helpful if you tend to overstuff your bags or put a lot of weight on the straps. There is not a shoulder strap, but it does have a 10 and a half inch handle drop, which feels pretty solid for me. I am partial to crossbody straps. I'm only 5'1", so I'm already pretty low to the ground. For me, carrying this in my hand feels like it's almost dragging the floor. And because I have narrow shoulders, my bags are always slipping off, which is why I do tend to navigate to shoulder straps. I think for most people though, the drop is long enough that you shouldn't have any problems. That's just a personal preference for me. So now let's move into what all I put in this bag. So first is my laptop. This is my work laptop. It measures 13 inches across diagonally. This fits in the outside pocket really nicely. It doesn't feel squished and I can still use the magnetic closure. I want to show you what it looks like with my 16 inch MacBook Pro so you can see the difference. So my mat can fit in the outside pocket just fine, but as you can kind of see here, it's a little too tall to close. If you do have a larger laptop and you want it to be covered, you can always put it inside the zip compartment here. 
One thing I do want to mention is, as many of you know, 16-inch laptops tend to be super heavy. So if you do travel with a larger laptop a lot, you might want to consider getting a laptop tote or backpack that's designed to distribute the weight more evenly. That way you don't inadvertently injure yourself and you don't put extra wear and tear on your bag. So the next item I put in here is my planner. I use this as my life planner and it is my everyday carry. All of my scheduling, wellness logs, finance, budgeting notes, and everything else are all kept in here. This is the Louis Vuitton GM or large agenda. This is a five size, so it does take up quite a bit of space. But one of the reasons why I purchased the Paloma tote is because I use my planner along with Outlook pretty much my entire day when I do go into the office. So having space in my work bag for my agenda was a non-negotiable for me. So next is my pencil bag. This is from Cloth and & Paper. And these are just the pens and highlighters that I tend to use when I'm brainstorming or outlining upcoming projects. This is a pair of blue light glasses. I picked these up on Amazon. I stare at screens all day, so these really help with eye strain. And then next is chocolate, which like my planner, I have on me everywhere I go. This is Seattle chocolate. I got this in a gift bag a while back and fell in love with it. They have a ton of flavors and each purchase supports Girls Inc. This one is Mexican hot chocolate. It's dark chocolate truffle with cinnamon, vanilla, and cayenne pepper. I do order these online and they ship from Seattle. I live in New Orleans, so by the time I realize they're outside, they've melted in the insane humidity, but I just throw them in the freezer for a few minutes and they're good to go. So next is this little compact mirror from Cloth & Paper. Always good to have one of these on hand. And then I have some blush. This is the Fenty Cheeks Out Cream Blush in Rose Latte. I usually don't carry a makeup bag in here unless I have an important meeting or an event that day. Typically, I just have a couple of makeup items just to look a bit more polished and put together. This is just some hand lotion. This one is by First Aid Beauty. And then I have this little pill box. It says medicated and motivated on the front, which I absolutely love. I purchased this from Francesca's like 10 years ago. I don't even know if they sell it anymore, but I just have some Advil, allergy meds, and nausea meds in here. So the last thing in this little zip pocket is this Invisibobble. This came in my glossy box, but you can purchase these at Target or Ulta as well. In this little slip pocket, I just have my AirPods and some peppermints. And then this is just a little memo book from Cloth & Paper that I use to take quick notes. In my front compartment, I have my wallet and personal planner. This is the Louis Vuitton MM or medium size agenda. This is not my main planner and I really use it more so as an overview of important dates and reminders. I did make a video walking through the pros and cons of using your wallet as a planner. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. This is personal size, so it's much smaller than my A5, but it's still larger than many other wallets. So just something to note if you're considering this method. I always carry a book with me. This month I'm reading Do the Work by Stephen Pressfield. I don't have a whole lot of downtime, but I really try to take breaks to get in a quick walk or read a couple of chapters. I do have digital and audio books, but I don't know. There's nothing more relaxing to me than putting on a good like pop or classical playlist and opening a physical book. I stare at screens enough throughout the day and I don't know. I find that this helps me to recharge and refocus. My anxiety is a lot lower and it really just adds a bit more balance throughout my day. So these are cat treats. I carry these in all of my bags. I also keep food and toys and collars in my car. I live in a rural-ish area of the city and unfortunately a lot of people abandon their pets around here. So I always have yummy treats on me in case I see a dog or a cat or another injured animal. I can entice them to get in my car and then take them to the vet or a rescue center if they don't have a microchip or if they've been clearly abused and hopefully get them rehomed. So next is hand sanitizer, which is a must have in any bag. This is the Touchland Glow Mist Sanitizer. You can buy these on Amazon or Sephora and Ulta. These have been floating around on Instagram for quite a while now. Um, they are really great hand sanitizers. They smell so good. And I really love that I don't have to use lotion afterwards. Just keep in mind, there are so many brands of sanitizer out there, particularly post pandemic. 
But if you do want this specific brand, make sure to check out Ulta Beauty. These go on sale pretty often. I think the last time I got like five of them for $2 or $3 each. So make sure to check out your local store. Next, I have Aquaphor, the best lip moisturizer ever. And then I have my keys. So I only have two actual keys on here, my house key and then my key fob for my car. This little zipper pocket has my building access card and my office ID card, both of which I have to scan when I go into the office. Usually though, I don't carry the pouch portion with me. I just unhook it and then leave it in my tote so I don't forget it. And then last is my water bottle. This one is from Starbucks and it just slides in the side here. Because this one isn't as tall, it does slide down sometimes if my middle section isn't full, but if you have a taller bottle, you won't have to worry about that. And that is everything I carry with me when I go to work. So now that everything's in here, let's do a quick weight test. So first I'm going to weigh this with my 13 inch work laptop and it is 14, a little over 14 pounds. So 14.2 pounds. So now I'm going to switch it out with my 16 inch MacBook and it weighs 16, a little over 16 pounds. So just something to keep in mind if you have a long commute. As far as durability, it's held up perfectly over the past few months that I've used it. However, I only carry this tote maybe once or twice a month, so I can't speak too much on how this bag holds up with daily use, but based on the materials and the manufacturing, I honestly would expect this bag to last you many, many years. Other than the weight and the lack of a shoulder strap, there's not too much that I dislike about this bag. I think it adds a very minimal and modern element to your collection and really just elevates your entire look. Even their logo here is a very subtle print on the side. Such a clean, professional, simplistic design. Again, it is vegan leather, so you can spot clean it with soap and water. And it also comes with a dust bag to protect it if you don't use it for an extended period of time. And that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're interested in more lifestyle planning and home office content, please hit the like button and subscribe. You would really help my channel out. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for planner inspo tips and freebies. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.